Hi, everyone. It's a pleasure for us in this episode of the Tennis Talk, where the coaches have a voice, is with us one of the great leaders and great coaches on the circuit, Frederick Fontaine from France. Thank you, Frederick, to be with us in this episode of the Tennis Talk. Hi, Fernando. Hi, everyone. It's also always a pleasure to, uh, to change with you, Fernando, and to talk about tennis and more. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Frederick, I'm going to do a brief uh, introduction because we can uh, talk a lot about yourself. But uh, I want to say for everyone in the audience, this program, uh, each episode is talking about the human being development, the transformation that every coach is doing to be a high performing person. Frederick is a high performing person. Uh, Frederick is coming from France. He was a former top uh, 59 player on the ATP. And also actually he is the coach of Felix Ogier Aliasim, number nine of the ATP doing an incredible work with him uh, during the, the, last, the last years. And also he was working like a Davis Cup uh, coach for Tennis Canada. And also he was working with many, many good players like Basek Popisil, Jeremy Chardy, Caroline Garcia, and many others. Also, Frederick was uh, main speakers of the World Tennis Conference, which we did in the last two years. And like I say, Frederick, it's a pleasure for us to have an episode where it's very important for us to create visibility for the coaches who are doing an incredible work. And in that way, we can help many other coaches and many other players from all over the world. Let me, let me ask you our first question. Who is Frederick Fontaine? Uh, first of all, Frederic Fontaine is, is a dad, you know, and uh, uh, that's very important, you know, uh, and also uh, an husband, you know, uh, it's like uh, more than 30 years that uh, I am uh, with my wife. So this is uh, the first uh, part of the pyramid, <laughs> I will say. Congratulations for that. And uh, nice two kids, you know, uh, 20 years for Maxence and... Uh, 20 years old and 17 years old for Eloise. Uh, and then, of course, I you know I was uh, I was a tennis player. I start early, like uh, all the professional tennis player, and um, I, I was able to go through all the you know the juniors and the development. I, I did one part in the with the French Federation when I was very very, very young, from 11 to 16, in the French Federation system, and then I decided to. To build my own team in my in the southwest of France with like some people who de didn't have like experience in the high level, so in one way we discover you know the the the, the transition together you know and and, and I went to uh, 59 in the world in the ATP ranking and, and I won one Grand Prix in Palermo and one final, so I will say that it was uh, always uh, yeah always interesting to. I was always like interesting to how to you know to to develop to to search you know to to be more efficient in in a lot of domains even when I was player, and when when I, I decided to um, to stop my career you know uh, going out from the top two hundred, uh, I you know I thought that I I, I made uh, all. Uh, I was uh, yeah I, I was ready to to turn the page you know and to to go to have like children with uh, my wife. And also, uh, I really uh, I had this uh, thing inside that uh, I wanted to transfer uh, what I was missing in my career to transfer that to in my coaching because uh, uh, as as um, as a person as a coach uh, I I have um, oh, I had always like this uh, this ambition yeah to. Yeah, to to win a Grand Slam. That was uh, my my quest, and I, I'm I'm still uh, 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 in it. Yeah, for sure. And you're gonna do it for sure because you are an incredible coach, and also plenty of different insights in terms of the human being. How was that transformation uh, of coming from to be a top player, you know, to be a coach? How how many things you have to let's say change in yourself to try to have success like a coach? Yeah, there's like a few different uh, important topics. First of all, uh, I had uh, my, with my personality, I, I am somebody that is, is more like introverted. 
uh, like that mean that uh, you know I like to you know I like to be more in the action than, than to talk, and I think it's uh, it's something that uh, so that Martins uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm good to listen people. So I, I think it's something that uh, I understand that it's uh, it's a, a good skill uh, for a coach, and I, and I developed that with at the same time. Uh, the second step was like to be to build like an, a kind of independence, uh, financial independence, because I wanted to after my career to transfer my knowledge to a player. But I knew that the system in tennis is difficult because uh, uh, when you are not a coach for a federation, uh, your boss is your, is the player, and the mm -hmm. player you know is young, you know. Uh, and at one point, you, you, you need to say the, the right thing at the right moment. And if you are like dependent, financially dependent on your player, it can be really difficult. So I understood that, you know, continue to develop my, uh, my uh, social skills, communication skills, you know, uh, listen, listen to your player, you know, uh, instead of like just uh, giving too much information. And, uh, and this part of like being financially independent uh, was like uh, the, 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 the something that I took care of before going on the tour you know and the third thing is like also uh, when I stopped my tennis uh, uh, professional career um, I, uh, I had the opportunity to go right away to coach on the tour you know some player asked me or to work for the French Federation but uh, now I'm happy that I took the right decision I took the decision to yeah, to uh, to did my, to do my diploma in France to learn mm -hmm. also the, the new skills, you no know, psychology mm -hmm. uh, in the psychology Neurology. field, yeah. yeah, neurology in the fitness, you know, uh, because uh, when you are a player, of course you 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 know uh, you know the competition, but you have to yeah you have to understand what is behind you know more, and so I took the time. To go back to the school and i also i built my own uh, personal academy with my uh, my coach who had like a, a site in, in the southwest of france and i i learned to teach i learned to teach how Very to good. change a grip or to change the te technique at different level different edge and at the same time like i said i built my uh, my financial independence by uh, doing some uh, business in the real estate with my academy and uh, when i uh, when all of that was like uh, at a certain level, then uh, I, I did, uh, of course, the development with Jeremy Chardy, and we went to the, he went from 12 years old to the to number 31 in the world, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and that was, of course, uh, yeah, all all these these uh, topics that I said was really important for me. Yeah, and uh, how many how many situations, let's say, problems, opportunities, did you face in that transformation coming from player? To, because most a lot of a lot of the coaches are used to be players and then they they need to change you know the mentality they, they need to change a lot of behavior when when you are a player every everything is centered in, on you and then you have to change to work with others how how you deal with that because i know we know that you did a wonderful pro process you know in terms of that transformation but many we have in the audience many, many coaches that they can receive some inputs about how it was for you. Yeah, I will say that there's like two main category of coaches. The one that they were playing on the tour, you know, professional, and the coaches that they were like at the national level and then start to teach, you know. So then I will say, of course, it's, I will say it's an advantage to have been like, a, in the top 100 let's say la professional tennis player because you 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 have uh, you live in your body in your in your in your in your brain you know the some situation but the, the 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 negative of that is like when you are a player you have to develop a strong ego and the strong ego <laughs> is uh, is mm -hmm. uh, not working you know when you are coaching because when you are a coach because you have to you have to. You are not on the on the scene, you know. You are the, on, on the backstage, you know. And uh, that is something that will say for me. My advantage was that I was not uh, a champion, not good enough to have this strong ego. So, but at the same time, so I had the experience of the high level. 
So that was the, the, the for me, was not the big challenge, eh? the, the ego, but for the, the coaches, the, the, the players who are like, uh, uh, this, they have the strong ego, they have to forget themselves and they have to develop this, uh, this empathy. And, uh, and also they have to, to don't go in the mistake that uh, uh, to, repro to reproduce what, um, what you had missing, uh, what you had missed in, in your career, in one way that uh, you have to, you have to, um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a really right with, uh, with what you said, is you, you have to do a transformation. You have to understand uh, what, uh, what was your career, the process, what was missing, you know, uh, but not in the way like to go right away and to, to go on the tour and to, to teach before you had ill from that, you know, you have to understand uh, exactly what was uh, happening, you know, that takes time, you know, that's the, I will say that the, the, um, the advice that I will say to players, they want to go fast to do on the tour and then, but uh, most of them, they just replicate what they were yeah. like doing. They didn't took the time to, you know, to absorb all those files and to heal, to understand their own process. And for the one, who are like, uh, don't have like uh, experience in the, uh, as a player on the professional tour. I will say, because it's a lot of, a lot of coach ask me directly this kind of question. And I will say, of course, you don't have like the, the connection. You don't have the legitimacy at the beginning because you, uh, because you, know, you, you don't know the, the, the players, you don't know the agent, etc. But I will say that uh, it's uh, it depends on your passion, you know, on on the on the like a player. You have like you, you need to have a plan. You need to develop yourself. You need to have a, a goal. You need to start at on, at the base. You need to develop a player. You need to be to ask questions to coach who achieve that to players. You know, you, you you have to to do all this work. And if you, you really have the passion, you have to put the hand in the in the work, you know, and to go step by step. And which is also an advantage because if you are able to to uh, to change a technique to and to to work with the neuroscience you know to have all those skills at one point you will able to develop a, a player you know you will be able to yeah to put your your work and your passion with a player and then if you have like some uh, let's say some progress from the junior to the future then it's one step and then after maybe it not will be with this player but you are going to go to another player and then you are going to approach you know the the, the, the top player and then you are, you have to yeah, go step by step absolutely. like like a player you know you have to to improve your level yeah so absolutely. that's uh, the, the the two aspects yeah absolutely very very good insight Frederick and and how are, if we can describe the you know because I know that you you do a like a complete program in many many ways you work with the player in many many different areas but your coaching principles to let's say which are the key aspects that you can recommend for coaches from your point of view that you are using for a, your own pathway yeah for me i like to use the analogy of the of the pyramid you know first of all you you need to be like a, a good balance you know with your your life uh with your personally you are, you are, you, are, you need to be balanced in in terms of uh, because the high competition is like uh, uh, a lot of pressure, a lot of instability. So if you don't, you are not like stable, you know, uh, balance in, in your personal life, you know, in the way that where you want to go, what is your career plan? It's, uh, it's difficult because then you are going to change direction. And it's, it's a, the, this is the first step. And then after I will say it's, it's, of course, it's easy for me to say it now, but you, you have to put the, uh, the skin in the game. That means, uh, the, to to achieve like great thing in in coaching you have to you have to be involved 100 percent in uh, with your player like uh, from a to, to z you have to you have to yeah you you, you have to, to to be there you have to abs you have to be uh, in the defeat in in the, in the wins you know you are you, you have to to be like uh, your heart your body you, you have to be involved like 100 percent like this uh, you will you will uh, uh, learn from the experience. You will adjust fast because if you are like not uh, into it, you know, just then you you will you will take time to adjust, you know, to understand things, and the competition doesn't allow that. 
so this is the accent. And after, of course, for me, the, the, the fundamentals is like to be a good generalist. That means you need to cover all the fields now. You need to be a good, a good, uh, uh, a good uh, com comprehension of the technical aspect, tactical aspect, fitness aspect, the neuroscience, the, the mental aspect. Why? Because if you are a good generalist, you will be able to show, show at the right moment, the right person to build the team. Because a good coach is, a, of course, is a team leader. Yeah. And after, of course, he has the relation with his player. But for the high level, you, all the top 100 players, they have a, a team around, you know? And so you have to, to be able to share your vision with your team. Uh, and then after, to let your player be in the in the, uh, in the present moment, you know, in the instinct, you know, just to he has to know the large, the large panel of the the process, but not like in too much in details. Like like this, he stay in, in instinctive. So that's that's the the like main a, the main fundamentals for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a director of one orchestra. No, it's like a yeah, like exactly a, everyone playing the same music but different instruments. No, exactly. Uh, Frederick, uh, you, you did talk a little bit about your principle in communication. Communication is very important to understand uh, your principles like human being, but also the principles of the concepts of the player in this case. Uh, you, you say that you are a very good listener. Uh, which, which are key aspects in terms of when you create a relationship with the player uh, and the communication process, and also how you manage your communication with the different are parts of the team, the different members, you know? Yeah, so let's say there is like, uh, there is two, two, uh, two different category of coach. There is like some coach, they are like uh, talking more, talking a lot, giving a lot of information to the player. And they are like some, some coaches. And I'm in this category that they are like maybe more to find the right exercise, the right situation, more in the action, you know, uh, which is not, 100% because it's at, at some moment that I will talk to my player, but on the, on the, I prefer like to be, to be in the action, to, to, to think about like which exercise is going to help him to learn, you know, with the, with his body, to learn with his mm -hmm. muscle, you know, that's, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm more, I'm more this kind of coach. That's why sometimes uh, people were like uh, seeing me on, on the court that I, <laughs> I'm not like expressive, but it's, uh, it's because it's, uh, I, I, I think uh, the player has to be instinctive and, and uh, I, I do a parallel because now you know that the ATP, they, they, they allow, they are going to make a trial mm -hmm. on, the, on the tour in July that the, the, the coach, they will uh, be able to talk to their player just at the, when they will be at the, the same side. And I will say it's, it's a good thing because it's a good thing because like this, there will not be this uh, gray zone that uh, when you you encourage your your player, then then the, the empire thing. This is it's like uh, it's like uh, you are coaching. You know that is good. But uh, but in the, in the same hand, uh, for me, um, uh, I prefer like the tennis and the sport stays like uh, it's like a duel. You know, it's a one on one. It's like a samurai. You know, a samurai arm martial fight. You know. And the, the, the player has to find uh, the solution by himself. You know, it's, uh, I, I like, I like uh, that we can stay conservative with that because it's like an art, you know, it's, uh, it's very important. But of course, like this, uh, it's uh, what the, uh, all the ATP did that, like this, it's, it's okay because uh, uh, the coach, they can encourage, say some word at the right moment and at the level that uh, we are play, the player in the top 50, the player they are not doing like big mistakes because we are we have the stats we prepare well the, the match so sometimes maybe we can do more damage if you give too much information you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the player that's, that's why it's, yeah exactly you know, that's why it's it's not it's not a big deal it's 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 good so then after my communication my my work with uh, with a player it's really okay the the coach is the guardian of the process he has to have a vision a process to this vision and of course it's uh, you have to share it with your with your player because the player is 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 uh, is the is going to give his main goal you know so the main goal it will be okay the the, the end point and then after bam, a vision a development vision i like to work with player at least to have like a two three four years plan because if you go year by year it's like uh, in politics, you know, you are going to, you, you don't have time to work, you know, and you, you, you need time. 
So yeah, uh, share the vision, build the process, uh, great communication with the, with the team, because at one point the fitness, if he doesn't understand what is the tennis vision, you know, then he, he, he yeah. will not be able to, yeah. to adapt the exercise. The same for the, the physio, you have to understand the technique, uh, the, some fundament, fundamental uh, in the technique, you know, like this, he can uh, recover, work on the, on the body of the player. So that's, that's the, the, the main topics. And then particularly with, with me, like I, I, I said, I like to, uh, this non-verbal communication is for me is more important than the, the 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 verbal communication yeah yeah you always look uh, when you are on the matches for an hour side you know supporting felix and also being talking with the body language you know it's like a, you always are focused and always you are there which is i don't know if your is your intention but it's how you look when the camera is taking some uh some image from you, you know, uh, it's like, uh, you know, people are watching you like that, you no, know? always focus on the match, always same body language, very positive uh, energy, you know, making signs in terms of uh, so emotional support, these kind of things. Uh, talking about the experience of Felix, because you did a wonderful work in the last years with him going, you know, from, uh, a very young player, which is one of the top stars on the circuit right now, and also be top 10. This year will be the, next, the, the, the entire year in the top 10, which is a lot of pressure, a lot of different things. How was that journey in terms of coaching? How was uh, the process with him? And you can, uh, you can talk about it. Yeah, the whole process is uh, very, of course, I'm, I'm uh, very lucky to work with uh, uh, a player like Felix. Of course, he has this athletic ability, but uh, great education. You know, I, I can say because now I know Sam and Mary, the, the parents. Uh, it's uh, like once again the, the first step of the pyramid. You know, the education uh, is it's something really solid. You know, something really solid. So that, and it's very uh, important as a coach to have like uh, to work with young players that they, they respect. You know, other respect the his team. You know, the coach. And uh, able to listen, able to to work hard. Of course, that is all, all uh, that Felix has. But also, uh, it was very important for for us that uh, to for me to work with uh, a young player like, like Felix that uh, we are able to talk different uh, subjects outside the court because you know the journey the, the year is very long. You know you have the tournament, yeah. but you go to the restaurant, you go dinner, you have uh, a, in the transport, in the train, in the in the planes. So there's a lot of uh, of time and then this Felix is really a, a very really educated educated person so we can talk about like different subjects and very that good. that I think is very important because you need uh, as a coach and as a player to develop yourself all the time so that means that you have to be able to understand the how the, the world is is uh, you know <laughs> is going you know economically politically and now you know with the, with the war in Ukraine you, you have to you, you don't have to to be like your your hand you know in in a, in a hole you know because uh, uh, it's important first of all uh, but also it's because it will help uh, uh, Felix to be a better tennis player you know because it's just not just hitting balls you know of course you have to to focus uh, and not to um, to sp spread the energy anywhere but you you have to focus on the on the process on the the match the practice but you have a lot of time to develop yourself and it's really important so that's why what i, I really it's really positive with felix and, uh, and his team and his parents that we are in this process we are enjoy enjoying the way you know uh, of you course there's like some moments that they are like difficult you know was uh, we from the outside it seems like always okay felix is young he went fast you know the steps were, were like going fast but it's very in the year, there's always like uh, time that we, you don't have wind, with the wind with you, you know, and uh, so it's you, you have like uh, every player you have to, to you know, you, you, you have to to absorb, you know, the defeat, you know, to understand why, to, you know, to, to work hard again, you know, so that's uh, no, that the, the positive thing is that we are like, uh, we are enjoying this, uh, this, uh, this process. And um, yeah, and obviously, we, we obviously also there's one thing that uh, we are we decided two two years one year and a half ago to to ask um, Tony Nadal to join us, you know, as a consultant to to bring uh, 
to bring his knowledge, you know, his experience of winning the big tournaments and also, uh, yeah, all, all uh, the, the, the skill that he has. And it's also like a, an important thing as a coach, you need like, that's why the ego, you know, uh, we were talking yeah, yeah, you need to, be, to be able to, to be open, to learn, uh, you know, to, to learn from other people, you know, to be, uh, to absorb, you know, like the, like, and with Tony Nadal, because uh, of course he's, he's uh, he has uh, this experience, but he's also a good person, you know, with uh, good education, good values, which is more important. And then after, yeah, he, we are with Felix, the team, we are able to uh, exchange and to, uh, you know, to, you know, to adjust things that in, in our process. Yeah, the, 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 that was a very good move because we know Tony. Tony is a very wise person, very good person, like you say. And also, which is good, Frederick, we need to create in tennis more mentorship. Someone who can bring to the coach, you know, successful experiences and cases to analyze in different ways, you know, to try to keep learning, keep growing that you are doing. Let me, let me ask you a couple more questions because I, we know that we can talk by hours about how we can develop ourselves. Uh, what means for you, because you are a high performing person, you are working with Felix, which is a high performing person. Uh, we used to say that uh, when you are a high performing person, you can have success mostly in everywhere and in every, in every kind of uh, industry because you know the step-by-step -step process that you need to do, how you have to have uh, discipline, how you have to be committed, you know, which are the key factors for you to be a high performing person? Yeah, I mean, uh, of course, because uh, I, I, um, it's something that it's very interesting because uh, uh, what you can transfer from the high performance in other domains. And, um, I can say by discussing because I'm interesting to discuss with a lot of person who have achieved great things in different domain. But I'm I'm also uh, a lot in my inspiration. I took, I take my inspiration in books. And uh, and I will say because the the material is the human, you know, and the the, the human is like uh, yeah, this is the base. So the human they are like of course every human is different, but the base fundamentals, you know, the, there's the brain, there's the body, you know. I like to say the the, the the mind, you know, the, the earth and the body, you know, the, the, the triangle. So that means the, the fundamental, the key things is like, yeah, to know where you want to go, you know, this vision, you know, the, this, uh, this point where you want to go. And then after to be able to, to build the process, you know, to build the process, to know yourself well, you know, your strength, your weakness, because uh, if you go, you start, uh, you, you spend a lot of time just working on your weakness, then you are going, not going to go as far as if you yeah. know yourself and your strength. And then like this, when you know your natural strength, that means you are going to go in the right, uh, in the right work or in the right sports, you know, or you are going to, to, uh, to use a tactic which is aligned with, with the, your strength, you know, this is very important. And then I will say like the, the people who are like achieving great uh, things, they are not, not uh, afraid to fail. That uh, it's it's uh, and it's even more in tennis because if you are afraid to fail, then you are not developing intention, you know. Yeah. And uh, we know that intention, you know, is, you have to build intention, strong intention, more and more. That means you know, winning or losing, make a mistake, fail. That just it's just an information. It's uh, just another information. And w when you are like uh, really uh, free about the, this process, then. The, the time is, 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 good, is good for you, you know, because you are going to be better every second, you know. And then the, the last thing is like, uh, okay, this process, the vision, you know, where you want to go, the, this process to put the pri priority in, uh, in the, what is important, to know yourself well. And then after it's like um, the ability to, yeah, to, to uh, at one point to be focused on what is important to be in the moment present. You know, I, I can say that uh, people that, uh, in, in, of course in sport, I, I have more example, but like people in the, in the financial world that a uh, few people talk, they are like, they are like living, they are focused in the present moment. You know, they, they, are, they have this ability to, to, to have like an intense focus on, the, on the, uh, the present moment. So 
did they wear that? Did, is it natural? You know, uh, in tennis, I, I can say because we have the biggest example of, of Djokovic. You know, he's working a lot this energy, energetic uh, side. You know, there is like a, a kind of, uh, and I, I think that the, the technical, uh, the, the neuroscience will bring that uh, more and more clear. But uh, we are like a kind of energy vibration. You know, and. Uh, to be able to to vibrate at the at the, at the right intensity intensity it's, it's it's one of the key yeah absolutely last question frederick uh, are you enjoying your journey a lot more and more because we are you know you know uh, after a certain age you 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 try to uh, you you start to have a little bit of more experience obviously and then after you, you are able to, to, to know that he, there will be an end <laughs> in everything. So, uh, and, uh, so I, I'm really enjoying you know, to, to, uh, yeah, to, to what I'm doing because I, 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 I love what I do, you know, that's why I'm, I, I travel a lot, you know, uh, and uh, I'm able to spend time with, with not, without my family uh, because uh, I love what I'm, I'm doing. Of course, I'm, I'm sharing some, some good, good moments with them, but it's, yeah. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. This is very, very important. You are a leader. You know, only are a coach. You are a mentor. And thank you for everything that you are doing for tennis. And your, thank you for your journey. And thank you also to be on our episode of the Tennis Talk where the coaches have a voice. Thank you very much, Frederick. Thank you for your question, uh, Fernando. And it uh, was good, a uh, good chat. Thank you very much. I am Alberto Castellani, president of GPTCA, Global Professional Tennis Coach Association. Learn from the best ATP coaches in the world. I hope that at the end of this course you will learn a lot of things. I hope that I will see you on the circuit with your player. This is the goal.